welcome to my channel fusion 360 designer in this session we are going to create a 3d model of flange coupling and the 2d diagram of that design for that we need a dimensions for flange coupling here we have a dimensions for flange coupling now we will go for the session at first we have to create a folder for our project now I am creating a folder for our project called flange coupling then we will start sketching flange dimensions as shown I have to create a circular 2d sketch in right side view uh, I have created 190mm diameter circle and 45mm diameter circle and 90 mm diameter circle for flange and I am going to create 140 mm diameter circle for the 12 mm diameter circle axis and I am going to use circular pattern select the object and select the center point that uh, 140 mm diameter circle and I am going to give 4 quantities then we have a circular pattern then we need to delete that 140 mm circle and swap sketch and I am going to extrude this outer part into 20 mm then the inner circle into 75 mm then I am going to start sketch for the keyway for that I am going to sketch in front view I am using line command and line mm line and one 80 mm sorry 80 mm length and 8.2 mm height and I'm going to join two lines and stop sketch <coughs> now I'm going to extrude in symmetric side the whole length of 14 mm and cut it okay we have created the outside now I am going to create the fillet for the three edges I have selected the edges and I am giving 2 mm fillet and press ok we have created the flange now we are going to change the physical material of the flange we are going to select cast ion for this material ok we have changed the physical material now we can save it as flange make sure the location is in our project folder and save now we are going to sketch a 2d diagram of the shaft one sorry 45 mm diameter circle then I am going to extrude it for 150 mm then I am going to start sketch for the keyway slot I am using line command as before we sketched in that flange now we are going to sketch the same procedure here to cut the keyway slot in the shaft 8.2 mm height and connect these two lines and stop sketch finish sketch now I am going to use extrude cut Simon Drake whole length 14 mm now I am going to do chamfer and select the edges and the distance into angle 2m distance 45 degree angle ok we have successfully created the shaft now we are going to change the physic material of the shaft and we are going to change the material as cast no, sorry ion ok then we will save it as shaft 
then now we are going to create a design for keyway key sorry key now I'm going to sketch in front view and using line command I'm drawing the key ADMM length 8.2 mm height connect these both lines finish sketch and extrude symmetric whole length 14 mm then press ok now we are going to change the physical material of the key into ion drag and paste now we have changed the physical material of the key and save it as key now I am going to made bolt to draw bolt new design sketch in right side a circle of 12 mm and hexagonal Twenty one divided by two. Then I am going to extrude it eight mm. Now I am going to extrude the center circle into eighteen plus thirty four plus eight mm. Now I am going to create a fillet on bolt head to create fillet sketch on front view draw a line and coincide the point this point to this line this point to this line and uh, change the dimension from here to here 1.5 from here to here 1.5 finish sketch then using revolve extrude I'm going to cut the face for that select the select this profile and uh, select the axis and operation cut ok now I am going to hide this sketch okay. now we will create thread create thread select the faces now we don't require full length thread required 16 mm thread only <coughs> now we use module which will show us real time thread okay then we will change the physical material of the bolt select ion gray paste it then we will save is yes, as bolt after creating the bolt I'm going to create nut new design create sketch and I am going to create 12 mm diameter circle twenty one divided by two polygon hexagonal polygon <coughs> finish sketch and I am going to extrude it into 10 mm ok then create sketch I am going to add fillet to the nut like before draw a line go inside this point and that line this point and this line 
and I make a line distance 1.5 this point to this point 1.5 mm and using revolution extrusion I am going to cut fillet select the axis operation cut ok we have made fillet now I am going to create thread thread select the face module full length and ok physical material I am going to change the physical material of the nut and grey now I am going to save the nut nut save after creating all the required uh, components bolt, flange, key, nut and shaft I am going to create the assembly to create assembly new design and save it as flange coupling assembly I'm going to drag the component which we required drag it and paste it to the current design you can move the body as you required I'm going to drag the key now key has two side one longer side one tapper side tapper side should come to outer of the flange and the long the length side should come inside the flange now I am going to create join mark this place and this one now you fix it the key then press ok drag the shaft inside the design move the shaft and create join this point and this point from the key you can see then press ok like this we are going to do for the next side of the flange drag the flange and uh, move the flange we need opposite side so we are move, uh, rotating into 180 degree then the key is in down side to make it right rotating 90 degree like this you can see the keyway came to this side ok then we are going to drag the key as we know key has one side tapper on one side for full length full light I am going to turn the key like this to fit with the keyway we have in that flange and I am going to rotate 180 degree like this to make the tapper side come to the that side outer side then press ok then we need to create join join press this point midpoint then press this point to make join and press ok then we are going to drag the shaft rotate the shaft into 180 degree like this and turn it into 90 degree like this and we are going to make a join like before select the, this point and select this point from key now 
you got press ok then we have to join these two flange sides to create join select the midpoint of the shaft and select the midpoint of the another shaft now we have created the joints now i am going to assemble the bolt drag the bolt insert the design and move the bolt and press ok like this we need to do four times drag paste move ok we have dragged four bolts inside this I am going to create assembly like this assembly select this and select this point and press ok select this area and this area and press ok then this point and this point press ok now I am going to assemble the nuts drag and paste move the nut rotate it because the face side is in right side like this we have to made four times the face side should be right side and uh, no face side should be in left side like that we need to rotate the nut then we need to create join create join and we can't select the midpoint of the nut so that place the face of the bolt and press control and select the center point and select this center point and do flip and move and move in the axis 0.2 mm sorry 2 mm as we can see now we assemble the nut the same thing repeat to the existing four three nuts I am going to create render render you can see these joints are visible I am making it invisible you can see here 
I'm going to select scene settings environmental library we have n number of environment here drag this and paste here okay then save it now I am going to draw a design select ok this is the drawing page default D the front view will be appear you need to you can change I am going to change the scale 1 is to 2 you can change the view hidden line and press ok move it And I'm going to make projection view of this drawing right side view we can make uh, top view or isometric view press ok we require these two views only you can move this and using the dimension command we can make dimensions like this I'm going to make all the dimensions Now I am going to make build up material to make click table you can see automatically the build up material will come the material also come you can change these things You can change the name board by double clicking the name board. I'm going to change. editing the name board save the diagram and we can export it thanks for watching our channel subscribe our channel for more videos thank you